The movie Gangubai Katiawadi raises some very difficult questions about how we need to view those who are involved in the flesh trade. An important question that emerges from the movie is should all people be treated with dignity regardless of the profession that they are involved in? And if our answer to that is yes, then Gangubai's actions are heroic. What she fights for is the dignity and well-being of the women who are involved in the profession. Most of the women who are sucked into the system have not come there on their own accord. Almost all were forced into it some way or the other. And once they are in it, they become culturally defiled and hence cannot go back to their homes, neither can they go anywhere else. The system becomes their life. We see this in the movie when Gangubai calls her mother years later, she wants nothing to do with her. We also see the other women who write to their parents asking for forgiveness but know that they might not receive any because of the deep stigma attached to what they have done. What the movie shows is that if we approach the problem purely from a highbrow moralistic stance, we will fail to see their experience and empathize with their situation. It isn't about compromising on what is right, but it is about seeing them as human beings who have gone through very unfortunate events in life to land where they have. The movie pushes us to see the nuances of their situation and why they merit more dignity than what society offers them. There is a story in the gospel that can help give us a certain perspective. In John 8, we see a woman caught in adultery brought to the temple and the crowd about to stone her. Jesus tells the crowd that those who have sinned should cast the first stone. And slowly the crowd disappears until there is no one left to condemn her. What is interesting about the incident is that the man who she commits adultery with is not brought there. She obviously didn't do it with herself. So there is a lopsidedness to the law that Christ recognizes. After the crowd leaves, Jesus asks her, has anyone condemned you? And she says, no. Christ says, neither do I condemn you. It isn't that Jesus is giving a thumbs up for her actions, but it is an offer of forgiveness and a chance to change. To those who were ready to stone her, it was a chance for them to look into their hearts and see that they were no better than her. It is true that sometimes in the hierarchy of wrongdoings, we put sexual misconduct above everything else and those involved in it as the worst. But what Christ calls us to do is to reframe those assumptions, to look at people regardless of what they do as human beings deserving of dignity and forgiveness. It is an offer of hope and restoration rather than condescension and condemnation.